Zurück zu einer weiteren Folge Sherlock Holmes. So, bevor wir den jungen Mann aber befragen, John A. Woodward. Hm. Da oben sind Nasen abgebildet, Tatsache. Mann, Mann, Mann. So, junger Mann. I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall. Whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believe that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. Interesting. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. So, Jennings scheint kein gewöhnlich Einbrecher zu Das Schiffslogbuch für das Jahr 93 könnte Licht ins Dunkle bringen. Also, ab zu Woodmansley. Ach man. Eighteen eighty three. That's the one I need. This is the crew list of the <coughs> same unicorn. This is the crew list of the sea unicorn. Okay. Log notes for June. Nothing unusual. Log notes for July. Nothing special. Log notes for August. These pages have been torn. Stimmt, Canadian okay, Pacific passt. Railway. CPR. A torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen this abbreviation somewhere very recently. There are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. The last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign. Okay. Um. Wiggings. Was mich ein bisschen stört, ist dieses ganze Hin und Her Gefahre immer, aber gut. Gehört zum Spiel. Ja, no. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. 
And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. And who might they be? Us? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. <laughs> Got you! Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. <laughs> okay. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. Yeah. Was soll ich dazu sagen? Es wird immer interessanter, das Spiel. Mr. I'm glad to see you. As always, what happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Interesting. Pray tell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. Ah, oh, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room. At your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead. Hmm, breathtaking. are the suspect's belongings. A pen. Nothing unusual about it. The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. Liam Hurtley's old boots. They're a size nine and a half. Die könnten passen. Die könnten These are the suspect's passen. Gehen wir jetzt mal überprüfen. These boots match the footprints exactly. Sehr schön. Äh, B. Einmal zu uns zurück, den Brief von den, den Flecken befreien. 
Aber wenn die Stiefel schon passen, war der auf jeden Fall dort. Wenn das jetzt so ein kräftiger Typ ist, dann war das kein Glück, sondern gut mit dem Speer und der Pune. Ähm, so. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. Okay. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Okay, 2, 4, 6, 7. Die kommt als drittes. Und als viertes. Kommt entweder grün oder blau. Moment mal, 2, 4, 6 sind dort aber nur abgebildet. Ich habe jetzt zwei drin. Jetzt nehmen wir mal so eine. So, jetzt orange. Orange. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Okay, dann ist grün falsch. Dann ist grün falsch gewesen. Dann könnte das jetzt natürlich die hier sein. Nächste wäre wieder blau. Dann orange. Ich hoffe, das ist jetzt richtig. Orange. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Weil mal die kommt ganz zum Schluss. Die kommt zum Anfang, dann ist die, die und die übrig. Er hat ja gesagt, alle sieben Chemikalien müssen benutzt werden. Das muss so eine komische Farbe dann aufweisen. Jetzt ist grün. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Puh, das wird schwer. Blau als erstes. Zwei Unbekannte. Dann orange, orange und was ist das andere? Farblos. Blau, Orange, also nee, Blau, Orange, Farblos. So, was sind jetzt die anderen zwei? Aber Farblos? Sicher? Blau. noch irgendwas anderes nutzen? Nee. Blau. Ich 
Ich wollte jetzt einfach mal farblos rein. Orange. Jetzt ist es nämlich schon so gelblich. Orange. No, something isn't right. I need to start oh, the reaction from the beginning. Oh, ich könnte es überspringen, again. will ich aber noch nicht. Blau. Blau. Grün. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Geben Sie alle Chemikalien in die richtigen Reihenfolge in den Kolben. Halten Sie sich dabei an die Regeln, die auf dem Blatt angegeben sind. Ja, witzig. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. Ja, aber die Fragezeichen. Ich nutze jetzt einfach mal nur die, die ich sehe. Blau, Orange, Orange. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Die zwei müssen zusammen da rein. Okay. Weil bei Blau und Orange macht er keine Faxen. Blau, Orange. So. Jetzt ist die Frage, das kommt zum Schluss. Jetzt nehmen wir das. Das. No, something isn't right. Jetzt ist oben das Fall. I need to start the reaction from the beginning das nicht. again. Bis weiter geht, erfahren wir in der nächsten Folge. Bis dann, bleibt gespannt, genießt den Tag und bye bye.